Hello everyone. Do you like my really baggy, unironed, unsteamed dress? I hope you do. I really like it. It's very comfortable and I can eat a lot of food in it and nobody is ever gonna tell. Um, but I really love this dress. So this is my ASOS haul. ASOS is one of my favorite online retailers to shop from because they're very, very easy. However, I find they have so much stuff on the website, I sometimes feel a little bit overwhelmed. So this is quite a, a split haul. So basically, I have kind of split it into two parts. There is a sort of more lounge and fashion, and then there is a big accessories thing at the end where I'm gonna try on loads of hats and see what they look like. I'm not really a hat person, uh, they're probably gonna look terrible. Anyway, um, let's start, uh, you know what, I will go back into this dress in a minute. I will actually start with some awesome loungewear from Misha Lounge. So this, I had this last year, very, very similar, but it was in like a nudie color. And this has kind of come back with the same sort of striping down the side darker colour and so comfortable. I love Misha Lounge. I think they're amazing. Their loungewear is a kind of thing. It's like if you're looking for aeroplane outfits, I know I did do a video about this before, but if you're looking for aeroplane, long haul outfits, this is what you need. Things like this because they look chic, they look smart. But um, I love this so much. I'm definitely going to be wearing it on my flight to Australia in a few days time. So yeah, because it's just going to be so nice and comfy and cosy and it's something that you can sleep in. It's also something that looks smart when you wear it out, like just to go into the shops and things like that. So I just love pieces like that. This hoodie is also Misha Lounge. It's so, so nice. So I actually really like this layered underneath my oversized leather jacket and also some of my oversized blazers and things like that. It just looks nice and it's quite smart. It's just, it's a bit more of a kind of like a luxe. Even though it's loungewear, technically loungewear, it's just a bit more of a luxurious take on a hoodie. Now this coat is from Weekday. It's actually really heavy. Like it reminds me quite a lot of the old Burberry print, which I think is actually very, very, very cool. It's really thick and it's really, I think it'll be really warm in the winter as well. And I got it in an extra small because it definitely comes oversized anyway. Um, but I'm, honestly, I just think it's, so gorgeous I think it's so so gorgeous I think it's so nice I'm really 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 chuffed with it and that I managed to get my hands on it I saw it after seeing Liv Blankson wear it and I was like oh I need it in my life so now I will talk to you about the dress that I'm wearing yeah I know I mentioned it very briefly at the start it is very flouncy and very very cute and amazing and I love dresses which are super oversized I think there's a little bit of a boho look about it I think with a pair of knee-high boots like what I'm wearing now and a nice designer bag I think it looks really 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 smart also super comfy so I can't complain about that I in dresses that are this kind of style because I am short and I've got quite a small frame, I usually go, tend to go down a size. So I got this in a size six. Realistically, I do think I could have got it in a four because like I said, you can do that when you get things very oversized and if you want to sort of like keep, not feel like totally swamped as like a petite person. Going in to this, I've ordered it in three different colors, three other colors in a slightly different material. So this is embroidery and it's the sleeves are slightly different on, all of them, act, uh, they're slightly different on some of them, um, but they're mostly very, very similar. So this one, I thought it was just a really, really, really pretty colour when I saw it on the website. Now I've seen it, I'm not entirely too sure, and I think the only reservation I have for it is the fact that it is this light colour, and I don't think I'll get that much wear out of it now that it's winter. Um, definitely more of a springy kind of thing. I mean, I just said it's winter, it's not winter, but you know, it's going into winter. So um, I just don't think I'll get the wear of it, so I think I probably will send this one back. Also, this was a size eight. Like I said, I do try and get these dresses in the smaller size so I feel a little bit less swamped. The white one, so also same thing as before. I think it is a little bit too summery. It's just the same shame because I really like it. Is this the petite one? I know this one does come in petite, but this isn't petite. I think they're running out of stock. The sleeve is a lot slimmer on this one and the like, salmon-y pinky one than it is on this dress. But then I also got it in the black colour. This has got more of a puffy, fluted sleeve like this. And I guess with it being black, it's definitely sort of more appropriate for this kind of year. It's getting a little bit darker. This will obviously look nice with tights, whereas I feel like those two would struggle with tights. 
So not really the most practical, but I did still really want to show you. Um, so yeah. So I've also got a bunch of new accessories that I wanted to try out, namely hats, because hat season is nearly upon us. And I think hats look really cute on other people, not always on me. Um, so this bit is probably gonna be a little bit amusing because I'm probably gonna look ridiculous in a lot of these hats. So um, yeah, one of the reasons why I look so terrible in a lot of hats is because I actually have quite a small head. Hats usually just swamp me and look a little bit too big, especially berets. So this is an ASOS own brand one. And put it on, have a little look. I never know how to wear these properly, like, Obviously, it doesn't go with the outfit. Hey, actually, you know what? It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. It's definitely not one of the worst ones that I've tried before. Um, no, I don't want to die, but it doesn't make me really want to run outside the house either. So um, I'm not sure, I don't know, let me know what you think about it. I just, I don't really have a beret kind of head. I don't think. So yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay, so I've got a ton of beanie hats, which is definitely too warm for right now. These tend to look quite cute on me. Um, once again, I struggle because small head problem. So this one, like, you know what? It's got a bit of additional height. I think it's kind of cute. I think the bubble's really big. Um Got a bit of movement going on there, but all together, not too bad. Okay, this is like an edgy beanie. This is like, what well, I say edgy, it's from Super Dry, not really edgy, but, um, whoa, now I feel like my head's too big for this. I feel like a peanut head. No, I feel like I, this is way too, um, gator girl for me. I feel like Avril Lavigne. Maybe from a long time ago. I actually think with the right thing, this would look quite cool. But I just don't think I've got what it takes to pull it off. Okay, this one's definitely my kind of colour. <laughs> what? No! It looks mildly better now, I'll put it on slightly better. But I just feel like an idiot in it. What? Oh, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel, for God's sake. Oh, this one smells funky. Mm. Um, uh, I don't hate this one. I think it's actually quite cute, but I want to wear it. Mm. Maybe if it came in black. Baker Boy hat. Um, definitely really cool a couple years ago. I'm not sure if it's really cool though. Fucking hell. I've got about three... I've got about... I have that much space at the back of it. Whoa, medium? I thought that... I thought it was a small. I always feel like I want to be like, all right, governor. Like, shine your shoes. Or something like that, but, um... No, you know what? I feel like my Baker Boy days have passed. Like, I really overdid it a few years ago. And also, this one, any gust of wind that comes my way, it's going to be like... <sighs> okay, okay, let's talk. Double pom-pom hat. Bear hat. I hated them at first, and then actually last year I thought they were quite cute. And now I'm a bit like, oh, they just kind of cringe. Like, I think maybe... They do look cute. They're very, like, Instagram-y. But I don't think... I'm not sure if their moment's gone. Okay, these ones, these, this, this white one and the black one was from a brand called Brave Soul. I just don't, I just, abs, just not, this is just going terribly. I knew this. And this is another bear hat, but I feel like maybe this one might fit a little bit better. So if I do want to do the whole cute, I'm a bit, oh wow, it's just huge, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I feel like Maleficent in the, the in this hat, more like than like a cute little like, Ooh, I'm so cute, I'm a bear. I feel like I am an angry demon woman with horns that's jealous of 
my stepdaughter or whatever it is that she was and I'm going to set out to kill her and turn into a dragon. That's how I feel in this hat. I think we can agree that was not very successful. So, I've got this really cute little earring and it's just like a little tiny padlock. It's gold plated, it's a little bit more pricier to reflect that. Let me just show you in my grubby little fingers. Can we see that? Yeah, cute. So let me just, I'm gonna go put this in. Cute, so there we have it. Just sitting in between my Maria Tash piercings. So I did do a piercing video not too long ago, but I have since changed up my piercings. I will have a little quick, I'll show you real quick. So I got rid of my Dave piercing and I got another conch done there because it's my fave. Um, but apart from that, yeah, like all my piercings are Maria Tash apart from this one that I've just put in. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's really cute. I uh, yeah, it could stay. It can stay. Um, yeah. And finally, let me tell you about these Western boots. These are these knee-high ones. I saw Lissy Roddy wearing some. I think they were from Public Desire, but they hadn't been launched yet. And they looked so cool on her. I mean, everything looks amazing on her. So when I saw it, I was like, I want some of them. I've seen a few other people wear them since. And I think they're really cool. Well, admit, I think these make my knees look a little bit wrinkly. Can you get Botox for your knees? Somebody tell me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That was another haul week vid for you. Pretty disappointing in the hat front. I always feel like a bit of a dick trying on hats in the, in the store because, well, because I always look like a dick when I'm wearing hats, basically. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with a, another haul week vid. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more fashion content and I'll be back very, 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 very soon. Waste all your breath, huh?